Joining us now is Illinois Congressman Adam Kinzinger. He is a Republican on the Foreign Affairs Committee. It always comes down to money, and that's what you heard Sean Spicer talking about right there, the idea of cutting off funds. Is that possible? Would it be effective? What do you think? Yeah, I think it is possible. The question of how effective is really up to the different cities. So federal funding is only a piece of, for instance, how much funding a sanctuary city gets. They have state, local money as well, too. But, you know, finding out the areas where we can affect and, and, and have an impact. I mean, you think about even back to highway funding when President Reagan uh, threatened states with pulling back highway funding if they didn't raise the drinking age. There's roles that the federal government can play here, and, and, and our message is basically this, like just enforce federal laws. There's laws in the books. We want you to enforce them. We want to fix our immigration system, but part of that is ensuring that those that are breaking the law, those that are bringing drugs, those that are trafficking human beings are punished, kicked out of here, and ultimately we can control our border. And as a guard pilot, I've worked the border of Mexico, and I can tell you there's a lot of very porous areas of it. Yeah, absolutely. Meanwhile, you heard Mike Emanuel before you talking about the fact that not everybody is going to be happy that this president is using an executive order. The first one, for example, calls for things like construction of a physical wall along the border. We know that, but also hiring additional border patrol agents, more detention space for illegal aliens along the Mexican border, eliminating catch and release, prioritizing prosecution of criminal offenses. Which of those pieces do you think will be the most difficult? I think they're all going to be very doable because, again, you think about it, the executive branch is the branch that's supposed to execute the law. So you have laws in the books, the laws being the 2005 border fencing bill, the idea of a secure border, you know, the fact that people should not be uh, just released, they should be held and prosecuted. So all those are doable by the Trump administration. Now, when it comes to the financial side of that, that's a big area where Congress comes in or if we're creating new laws and changing policy. But I think the big thing to remember is when we talk about executive action, it's basically in the purview of the president to figure out how to execute laws in the books. Where we had heartburn with what happened with the last administration is in many cases, you know, the idea of I have a pen and a phone obviously was, I think, a flippant way to say it. Right. But in other areas, it seemed to be changing policy and law. Yeah. Um, in some of the pieces of the second executive order, though, are the ones that would give even more heartburn, as you say it. You know, without certain federal funding or withhold federal funding of sanctuary cities, enhance ICE's ability to arrest and detain and remove illegal aliens. We know local mayors don't like that at all. Give State Department more tools to repatriate criminal illegal aliens by withholding visas and restoring secure community programs targeting criminals and aliens for removal. A lot of fight in those. Yeah, and there will be. And, and I think, you know, one of our goals, at least my goal on this, and, and uh, President Trump will develop this, I think, further as he goes along, is a lot of Americans have totally lack faith in the country's ability to protect the southern border. And again, this isn't just about immigration. This is about drugs. This is about criminals coming over the border. So let's show people that we can control the border. We can take care of that. And then we can go to the next steps of, you know, what do we do with the 15 million people that are here? Nobody's really saying we ought to deport all 15 million people. So how do we deal with that? But to get the American people's trust back, which they've lost faith in, is we have to show that we can control our borders and secure. And I think that's what you're going to see President Trump do, and you're going to see a willing yeah. Congress, I think, come in and, and back him up. And back him up, though, with dollars? I mean, that's the real question, because at the end of the day, almost every question always comes down to money. And if you look at yeah. what the GAO is saying, I mean, they think it's about $6.5 million per mile. They're looking at a total price tag of something like $18 billion. Are you guys in Washington prepared to put up money for that? I think so, and uh, and that's what we're going to figure out. Look, national defense is the main priority of what we do when it comes to funding our military, protecting our borders, and things like that. But there's no doubt okay. what we have to I'm do. I'm sorry to cut you off. We've got to go to Shepard Smith right now.